It's me, it's me, it's Wall Crawl back with our Radiant Two Ways guide in our All Achievement Telenite guide. And we've got the Soul Tyrant that is here. Soul Tyrant's a level three. It's difficult. Um, difficult just not to get hit once. You may be totally fine on the Soul Tyrant, but getting hit once is the problem. And um, I tend to have the most struggle at the end after he's done his smash down and he's calling the stuff out after you of not letting one of those little things hit me. The very first time I got him Radiant Style, that was the thing that kept getting me over and over again. That and running into him. Um, what we're going to do is Magic Style him. A whole lot like the, uh, the Soul Master fight, we're going to... Um, do these these kind of same two ways so we've got nail damage uh shaman stone for um spell power soul catcher spell twister soul eaters so we're getting up as much soul as possible all right soul tyrant you're going down all right jump up can't quite hit him but you want to build some soul on him right away. That's what your job is. And shoot across, like, the different ways, you know, right here through the middle where the top of it would hit him if he were in the air or the bottom would hit it if he were on the ground. That's the goal. Jump up, strike, dash through, and a double shot. That's the best way to do it when he comes from that side. All right, Pogu, get him. Okay, I'm gonna hit him with a nail art. It's the best strike I can get. Desolate diving him doesn't seem to work. You can hop right over that first one as it rotates through. That was shown to me by a subscriber. All right, I'll mention who it was here in a moment. Okay. Woo pow. All right, and strike. All right, it's going to come down six to ten times. I dash right between these rows of people. Five, six, seven. All right, just want to be safe. This is the worst part of the fight to me so you a lot of times it takes up to three uh, sequences of that five i think no okay blast dash blast 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 Yikes. okay here we go dash two three four he should be dead five six seven Abyss Shriek. Alright. And we got him. He is toast. I always say he's... I always say they're toast. That's just kind of my thing, I guess. Okay, so... That is the style. And, um... So, basically, you're gonna... Again, try to build up the soul. Shoot. A whole lot in that middle range um, I'm gonna write up above the subscriber who showed me how to jump through uh, um, how to jump through as he's coming from left to right and uh, go ahead uh, check out the channel they've got some uh, stuff that they've done on Hollow Knight if you want to see it all right um, hopefully that is helpful style number two right here it's also going to be real nail heavy. All right, so we're going to be... This I find in the Soul Tyrant fight because he's so fast. Having long nail and Mark of Pride or even just Mark of Pride makes a big difference of you getting quicker hits. I am going to go ahead and try Sharp Shadow because um, that, that can help. At times when he's coming across, usually at the top and moving from right to left, with the little spiral things that go around him, I like to sharp shadow through him for a little bit of extra damage. Um, all right, that's that's what I got.
Okay, you can jump up and try to get a hit in. Sometimes you can um, with this particular nail length once you've kind of specked into it with these charms. Ooh. You also have to be very cognizant, very aware of whether you're in your longer dash with your uh, uh, sharp shadow or your shorter dash. Pow, pow, pow. Boom. I can almost always get two strikes if I do the pogo attack right here because of the uh, extra nail length. So that's that's a positive thing. Ooh, I thought he was... Do, all right, I thought he was doing the... Uh, come across the bottom. Strike him as he comes down. If you're off to the side... Alright, dash back. One, two strikes. Didn't get the second strike that time. Got him. Alright, barely got got away of that. But uh, that's okay. We did it. No. Almost had my sharp shadow do me in. Strike, strike. He's coming across. Strike, jump back and shoot him. Okay. We're, we're, I, I think he's close to dead. All right. Hit him with a good old fashioned nail art. Remember, he's coming down six to ten times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And... Not good. Okay, so he did not make that easy for me. Four, five, six. Just focus on dodging the stuff he shoots. Instead of, uh... Uh-oh. All right, come on. This will be the last time, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Anytime. Nine, ten. Okay, he's appearing now. All right, and dash forward, strike, strike. I can't dash. Yeah, he's toast. And we got him. Took a while, but we got him. Now again, that last portion is what uh, I find is the most difficult of it. It's just dodging those little projectiles that he spams at you all the time. So, um, yeah, that's that. You can do, just like the Soul Master, you can do a hybrid, too, of that. And uh, take away some nail length, maybe still stick with... Uh, um, mark of pride but uh, give yourself the uh shaman stone and that way you can uh use use nail length and magic uh, to your um advantage all right hopefully you saw something that benefited you in this video and uh, you can take it with you as you defeat the soul tyrant on radiant difficulty not the easiest one is really not so I'll see you next time. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, just shoot me out one of those likes or subscribes. It'll be wonderful. All right. See you next time. Bye-bye.